Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus. I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song The Fog by Hogjaw. Uh, this comes as a request. Uh, just based off of the uh, artwork I see here, I'm guessing it's maybe a country song. <laughs> but otherwise, going in blind, because I've never listened to Hogjaw before. Uh, no idea what kind of music they make. I guess we're going to find out right now. Um, I believe this comes as a request. Did I mention that? Uh, so if you want to request something as well, please just leave it in the comments below. I'll get to it at some point. Um, but yeah, let's listen to Hogjaw, the fog. Hopefully all of you are staying safe and washing your hands and staying at home. All right. Here we go.
It's a pretty nice little jam session there to end out the song. You know, I think I think the guitar really stole the show here. Um, man, I was not expecting that. You know, um, from from the country that you guys have suggested so far, like the Sturgill Simpson, uh, Jason Isbell, um, and Tyler Childers, they have all been very good musicians. But uh, none of them have rocked like this, I'll say. Um, this was definitely, I could classify this either as country or as southern rock. I mean, it was very, very enjoyable uh, in that aspect. It really like gave you something to vibe out to. I really, really like this one. Good suggestion, whoever this one came from. Good suggestion. So, um, anyway, let's, let's break it down like we normally do. I was so enamored with guitar, I didn't really listen too much to the lyrics. So let me read through it again. Um, I got myself into a mess these last few months, it seems. The words I said and what I did ain't exactly what I mean. There comes a times when there comes a time when feelings die, and the only thing left is a friend. So we part ways on our own. Pain drifts as time will mend. Huh. I wonder if they're talking about end of relationship. Um, and I don't want to lead you around. Truth be told, I done led myself. I done enough. You're wearing the frown. And I put you up high on the shelf. Days go by, I realize just what it is we done. You say I try to hide, turn my tail and run. That's not it. You never made your stand. Not even when I stood and held your hand. So it seems like, yeah, it's a failing relationship. Uh, I think the guy is straight up just like, you never called me my bullshit, you know? Um, so I, I think it's kind of interesting. You never made your stand. Um... Not even when I stood and held your hand. So, like, you kind of never stood up for yourself. I don't want to lead you... Wait, did I read that part just now? No. Uh, I don't want to lead you around. You never tried to be yourself. Too many times you laid down and died. In the end, it's the hand you dealt. Uh, here we are. The fog rolled right in. You say I quit and let you go. That may be true, but I still love you. Why didn't you step up and show? So it sounds like a back and forth. Maybe when he says you didn't take a stand, he's actually saying, like, you never really, like, showed me that you loved me, I guess, in that sense. So, and I remember yesterday, I thought of us in your smiling face. If the road remained unchanged, maybe we'd be in a different place. Of course, people change things, change situations, change. And that's what leads to eventually the breakup. But he's saying, like, if nothing had ever changed, we'd still be in a, in a maybe we'd be in a different place. Maybe we'd still be together, right? So, uh, overall, I think it's a pretty interesting way to talk about a breakup. It's very, um, it, I'm able to see, like, okay, this is about a relationship gone south. But it's written in such a way that it's not super obvious. Um, maybe all the parts aren't super obvious on the surface. So for that, I, I like the combination of like uh, understandable lyrics with a little bit something extra to think about. So I give it two thumbs up. Um, but for me, where this song really shined through was in the guitar playing. Man, I loved that guitar solo. Um, I was not expecting that guitar solo. You know, I, when they started playing, I was like, okay, this is more of a southern rock. I kind of knew what I was in for with a southern rock type song. I was not expecting a guitar solo, oddly enough, but man, I'm glad they gave it to to us um, because, wow, it really added something to the song. I think uh, even from the beginning, the guitar really uh, was the, the best piece of the song for me. Um, it just had that, again, that southern rock blues sound, and I loved it. Uh, the guy's voice sounds really good. He, he's got that southern twang to him uh, with that kind of gruff, like he's a tough farm guy type voice, um, which I liked about it. The drums were good. They had There were some nice little drum licks in there that I really appreciated. I like that they kind of brought in some elements of piano in there at some parts. Um, I think it added a little bit more to the emotion, emotional weight of the song. But man, like I said, that guitar throughout, and especially in that guitar solo, was really what is probably going to bring me coming back to this song. Um, and then I kind of liked how they chilled out and, and like um, just kind of grooved there at the end of the song to kind of uh, wind it all down. So overall, I think it was just a well-composed piece of music. I think the instruments play really well together. The guy's voice goes really well in there. Just love that guitar solo. I give it two thumbs up for instrumentation and for vocals. Loved it in that respect. And then as far as replay value goes, this is definitely going on my playlist. I Like I said, that guitar alone is enough to really bring me back to this song. 
Not to mention that I actually really did enjoy the lyrical content, and I enjoyed the guy singing. I enjoyed, like I said, a few drum licks in there. So there was a lot to enjoy from this song. But man, on the strength of the guitar alone, I'm going to be coming back to this song. Overall, I give it two thumbs up for replay factor. I just think it's going to get some rotation on my playlist. So anyway... That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again for the suggestion. Really like this one. Um, if you like the music as much as I do, go support the artist. Go listen to their music wherever you can. One place you can check them out is in my Spotify playlist. As long as you're on Spotify, you'll see them in my playlist. Uh, it's got every song I've listened to so far on my channel, which makes for a pretty interesting combination of music. Honestly, I was listening to it today as I was working out, and I was like, well, you know, it's pretty enjoyable. Some of these are definitely workout tunes. Eh, some of these I'm going to skip for now because they're not, but you know, it's it's an interesting uh, interesting combination of songs, I will say. Uh, if you want to support me, all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, like and subscribe, comment, ring the bell, you know, it's not your first day here, probably, uh, so you know what to do. Anyway, that's it for me, I'll see you on the next review, please stay safe, wash your hands, stay home, you know, all the stuff that we're doing to keep ourselves safe, keep doing those things, alright? Anyway, that's it, bye.